I was about to perform heart surgery when the patient suddenly woke up, a horrifying grin stretching across their face. They whispered, You can't kill what's already dead, before lunging at me with an unearthly strength. I woke up in the middle of the night to find my bedroom window open. Before I could react, a skeletal hand emerged from the darkness, silencing my screams. I saw the creature's glowing red eyes before it dragged me away into the night. I decided to investigate the strange noises in my attic one night. As I climbed the stairs, a putrid stench filled my nose, and my heart raced with fear. When I opened the attic door, I was confronted with countless mirrors reflecting distorted images of myself, all filled with agony. We had just moved into our dream home, but something malevolent resided within. Every night the walls whispered dreadful secrets, and the floorboards creaked under unseen footsteps. One evening we discovered a hidden room in the basement, its walls adorned with horrifying photographs of our own family, captured in torturous poses. I received a mysterious package containing an old, tattered doll. Intrigued, I placed it on my shelf, only to hear eerie giggles late at night. One evening, I found the doll sitting on my pillow, holding a pair of scissors, with a chilling note that said, let's play a game. I woke up to find myself trapped in a small, pitch-black room. Panic surged through me as I reached for my phone, only to realize it was gone. In the darkness, I noticed scratches on the walls and read a message written in blood. You're not alone in here. I discovered an ancient diary in the attic, filled with disturbing entries about a demonic entity that demanded sacrifices. Dismissing it as superstition, I laughed it off. That night, as I lay in bed, a low growl filled the room, and a pair of blood-red eyes glared at me before the demon devoured me whole. The haunted painting fascinated me, so I decided to buy it. But once it hung on my wall, the serene portrait transformed. The figure's eyes followed my every move, and the paint peeled away, revealing decaying flesh and bone underneath. I found an old photograph of my deceased wife, with her eyes scratched out. It sent shivers down my spine. I placed it face down on my nightstand before going to sleep. In the dead of night, I woke up to find my wife's cold, lifeless gaze staring at me from the foot of the bed. In an empty parking lot, a disheveled man offered me a ride home. Against my better judgment, I accepted. During the drive, he shared intimate details about my life, things only I knew, before revealing a sinister grin and saying, you shouldn't have trusted a stranger. I loved exploring the woods near my home as a young boy. One day, I stumbled upon an abandoned cabin and decided to investigate. Inside, I discovered a room covered in drawings of my own face, each one depicting a different horrifying fate. As I turned to leave, the door slammed shut, trapping me inside. The scratching sounds coming from my closet were impossible to ignore, but my husband brushed them off as my imagination. Determined to uncover the source, one night I mustered the courage to open the closet door. To my horror, I found a hidden passage, leading to a twisted and macabre world filled with grotesque creatures eager to escape into our reality. My friends and I decided to spend the night in an abandoned asylum, seeking a thrill. As darkness engulfed the eerie building, we heard whispers echoing through the hallways, growing louder and more menacing. One by one, my friends vanished, leaving me alone with the vengeful spirits that still haunted those cursed walls. I couldn't resist the allure of the antique mirror at the estate sale, but as soon as it adorned my wall, my reflection began to distort, revealing a malevolent version of myself. The reflection beckoned me closer, whispering dark secrets, and I watched in terror as it reached through the mirror, pulling me into its twisted realm. I moved into a quaint countryside cottage, hoping for tranquility. But the idyllic night soon turned sinister as a chorus of whispers filled the air. Shadows danced along the walls, taking form and whispering my deepest fears. The house seemed to hunger for my sanity, trapping me in its never-ending nightmare. During a hike in the mountains, I stumbled upon an ancient burial ground. Ignoring the warnings etched on the stones, I ventured deeper into the forbidden territory. The earth beneath me rumbled, 
and skeletal hands burst through the ground, clawing their way towards me, craving the living flesh they had been denied. My sleep was plagued by recurring nightmares, each one more vivid and horrifying than the last. Desperate for respite, I sought help from a renowned sleep specialist. But as I dozed off under their care, I realized the nightmares were not confined to my dreams. They had materialized, tormenting me in the waking world. I told my older brother to fix the water heater before I took my nap. I woke up to the sounds of screaming and rushing water. When I went to check it out, I met my brother in the hallway. His skin was boiled and blistered, his eyes were sunken and bloodshot, and his lips were gone. Mommy? What are you doing? Are you okay? Mommy?